Hey everybody and welcome to another JASP video on this channel. Woo! Uh, well, we've got some great news for y'all. Uh, it's now a new update. Instead of, oh my goodness, 0 0.15, we have JASP 0 0.16, y'all. This was just released at the time of recording. Uh, I believe the date here is on the release notes. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> Anyway, in any case, it was released, uh, let me see if I can go back to the, um, November 16th. Okay, so as of recording, that was just about a week ago, so apologies, it's been a crazy semester getting in there. But any, in any case, if you have not updated your JASP yet, please do. Now, there will, um, be a couple more videos based on the new features. I still haven't even gotten through all the new features from 0 0.15 that I wanted to make videos on, but that's okay. That's really, that is honestly not a big deal because we can just keep going through it. Now, um... On these new release notes, however, um, let me make this bigger for y'all to see, so it fills the fills the room here, uh, or fills the scene, I should say. So new features and improvements. So awesome Spanish. There is a a, a buttload of at least my viewers, my subscribers that are from Spanish speaking countries. So this is amazing for you all. And then I have noticed um, some Indonesians um, coming in and commenting or subscribing, and um, that's really awesome too. So uh, that language so far is incomplete, but for you Spanish speakers, boom, you can shift JASP and your entire JASP experience into Spanish. So all of the buttons, all of the names, um, the output, all of that in Spanish. Pretty cool, I would say. Okay, so new language for all of my um, Latin American and uh, Spanish the, the natives of Spain. <laughs> um, here, there, this update is for you, honestly. Now, there are a couple of things on here. These first two, or these second two bullet points here um, that uh, I don't actually have any training in, so I won't be doing any videos on these. But if you are a meta analysis nerdino, you can. Um, there are four additional meta analysis tools here than the base uh, added to the new base uh, meta analysis tool. So we got the WAAP, WLS, so weighted least squares, uh, pet piece, I honestly don't know what that stands for, prediction model performance, and then if you, in the previous uh, Bayesian meta analysis, you can now set a seed option, which is good because that means you can always go back to a previous seed. So you can um, mess around with data that way. It's kind of like seeding a map in a, in a uh, map-based game, for example. You can always, you can seed that data and then bring that seed back and uh, Jamovi will remember it, or excuse me, Jasper will remember it. <laughs> I've been doing videos for both programs today. Um, the second uh, new addition to Jasp 0.16 is machine learning. So I get a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions in the comments um, for both Jasp and my Jamovi videos. Um, can blank insert program here do machine learning well the good news is uh, good news everyone uh hopefully i don't get flagged for that uh machine learning is in is now in uh is now in uh, jasp look at that look at that so the awesome thing is is now when somebody asks me hey can jasp do machine learning well guess what it can so let's um Let's see. I think I do need to add it from over here. Yeah, machine learning. Now, I like I said, I I don't know how to do machine learning, but I would I will open up a data set. Uh, this is in the data library, Iris Flowers, because I just kind of want to see what it is. And so we're going to machine learning, and here we go. Here here it all is. You can do regression based machine learning. You can do classification. You can do clustering, and you can do a prediction. I'm I, I honestly don't know where to start with this because, like I said, I don't do machine learning. Um, but there you go for all of those new neural network regression and classification analyses. Oh, these are so machine learning did exist prior. My bad. Um, did I miss that somewhere? I probably did. I probably did. I've been meaning to do. By the way, I've been meaning to do the new um, learn bays. So I kind of want to do a video on game of chance sometime soon. But in any case, um, now uh, model saving. Uh, oh, it saves it as a different file type as opposed to the .jsap and now adds the ml to the back of it so you can save it locally um, and uh, same thing for the predictions there is a new module circular to perform circular statistics um what <laughs> circular statistics what are circular statistics circular descriptives wow um i honestly don't know what that means oh it makes things in circles i see very cool very cool so you can do that ooh Oh, I've seen these plots before. You can tell that I've been far out of my like learning of new fancy stuff. Um, that's what happens when you are <laughs> done with statistics in graduate school and don't do any more statistics. Anyways, those are circular statistics. That looks pretty cool. In the ANOVA, you can now do GORIC and ANCOVAs and uh, or the GORIC A in both an ANOVA and ANCOVA and then repeated measures. I'm not actually sure what GORIC uh, uh, A is. GORIC, GORIC A. Regressions now can have row, column, total proportions, parallel to counts for confusion matrix in log regression and logistic regression so um don't yeah if, if this is this is additional information for specifically for logistic regressions um and then oh marginal effects effects plots in linear regression oh i'm gonna do a video on that one that's for sure uh and then 
Uh, audit. I don't know what audit is. Uh, UI revamp. That's always good. Prior and posterior predictive plots must be something to do with Bayes uh, and Bayesian statistics if we've got prior and posterior predictive, predictive plots. And then whew, the ability to use base 10 for scientific notation in tables. This is pretty awesome. So if we go into JASP and we go into preferences, so instead of, uh, let's see, well, I don't have a good example here, um, but instead of having a massive um, number, we can change it to base 10 uh, notation. Use normalized notation. Let's see what this says. Use normalized notation. Here you can specify if scientific numbers should be displayed with normalized notation, which is base 10, instead of being displayed using the E notation. I prefer this, to be honest with you. Um, but because this has existed in Jasp and Jamovi forever, um, I've gotten used to it. So this is this one to me, base 10 notation, to me is perhaps cleaner. It's a little easier to read for, for, for my taste, comparative to the um, error notation um, or the E notation. I don't, I guess it, to me, it reflects error when it shouldn't. I don't know. But that's awesome. So we, we can use normalized now, which is amazing. Now, you can use exact p-values too. But anyway, that, so those are the changes in uh, 0 0.16 JASP. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, consider subscribing for more uh, JASP tutorials uh, on, the, on the channel. Uh, I've got a lot coming um, down the pike here. So I'm excited. I uh, hope you are too. Thanks for watching. Bye.